Hello guys, I am Shane Davis, 20 year comic book veteran here, John C. Lynn, and today is the day we are bringing you more Decimated DC as Catwoman lectures this comic. I want to go through some of these pages. Catwoman lecturing Batman about how stealing is okay as long as you do certain things and uh, you can redistribute wealth uh, or give a certain amount to charity or only steal from the rich. And uh, villainous behavior is justified uh, as Batman Bruce Wayne has been doing it wrong this whole time. Uh, here we go. So this is basically a case of crime is okay if you use it to attack certain demographics, basically. This is what this whole story boils down to. So we have this dawn of DC, which they've been talking about for some time. And the storyline mm. is called the Gotham War Battle Lines. So let's look at what some of these rather cringe dialogue is. So for a bit of background, Catwoman has basically been recruiting henchmen from all the different bars and city places, you know, the usual villainous hangouts and teaching them her ways. So this is what she said. I've trained them and I'm training more to be like me, elite cat burglars. No more smash and grabs. No more armed robbery. No more henchmen. Now I've given them rules. They're only allowed to steal from the wealthy of the city. No score is worth your life or anyone else's. No violence, no confrontations. And they have to donate 15% of their gains to Gotham charities. This is why the streets are quiet. This is why your villains are floundering. And it's getting big enough that I need you all to do something for me. I need you to leave us alone. So let me get this straight. She's literally training more thieves. And she's telling Batman, this crime fighter, to leave her alone. All right, still not cringe enough. Let's continue further. Right. We are just allowing the rich to be robbed. They can afford it. Hell, half of them never even earned their ludicrous wealth. They can give some up for, my parents were rich. And of course, Batman says, this is wrong, Selina. Targeting one set of people in place of another doesn't solve anything. So, guys... This is basically a case of people wanting to say, yes, Robin Hood was fantastic. He stole from the rich and gave to the poor. But see, Robin Hood was in this era, this time when people lived in villages, and you would be a total idiot if you want to pick up your whole life and move to another village because guess what? There are bandits and wild animals and all kinds of stuff. So people just stay there and be robbed. That's just, you know, life. Whereas in modern society, imagine, let's say, there's one certain group that keeps getting targeted for crimes. Do you think that group will stay in the city? Especially if they're rich, they can literally say, yeah, I'm not sticking in Gotham anymore. I'm going to pack all my bags and get on a jet and head over to Metropolis the next day. Because that's yeah. literally what they can afford to do. Rich people can afford to do that. So what Selena is basically proposing is we keep seeing from the rich, seeing from rich, seeing from rich, until you get tired and they'll leave. Then I guess we were still from the middle class now because guess what? Now the middle class is the rich class. And so on and so forth. You can see this is getting go totally ridiculous. Right. People are saying, Yanzi, you're just making up a scenario. This does not happen in real life. The rich will stay there and will be content to be robbed. Oh. Um, do you remember this case where about two or three years ago, there were all these riots and shenanigans happening in Chicago. And they were saying, guys, steal from the corporates. It's okay to steal from the corporates because they are rich. Well, right, right, now right. we have this thing called food deserts. After all, giants like Walmart and Whole Foods shut the stores in Chicago. The corporates finally said, we had enough. Bye. You guys figure out what you want to do now. So yeah. this is literally what will happen if Selena is allowed to continue her plan. But, yeah, you know, you go, girl. Use crime to fight crime. Right. And in a weird way, this is metaphorically laid out like, hey, Batman, you should allow us to do this. Like, again, this metaphorically is kind of like it's not a felony if you shoplift up under a certain amount. And you've seen all the viral videos of that and how well it's working out that people are just grabbing stuff off shelves, putting in a garbage bag and walking right out of the store. So what is this with this type of idea and why is this being put in a comic book? And again, uh, yeah, people like Catwoman, she teams up, but she is a villain. That is the thing. She is a uh, thief. She is a burglar. Batman does have to combat her a lot. It is a thing. I would, I mean, and this whole speech, what makes this pop out to me super cringe coming from DC Comics is she is literally lecturing Batman about this while standing on this on the stage with a stripper bowl. 
I <laughs> girl power. All right, I want to point this out. This is a thing that DC has been doing in the past ten years or so, especially. You will notice that for some reason they tried to redeem villains like Harley Quinn. She went from Joker's hench girl now to this anti-hero type character. They're trying to do this also with Selina. And of course, they have to make her this powerful, your way of doing things are wrong, Batman. You are clearly furious because you wasted your fortune and your brain on bad cars and punching people. And it took compassion to solve this problem. Ooh, mm. yeah, sure. Now, robbing from rich people is called compassion. What? I'm sorry, what? For people who do not know, there are multiple cases in the animation, in the comics, where Batman actually gave money to charities or in one very famous case in the Batman comic. He actually told a bunch of henchmen. You guys, just if you want, go head over to Wayne Foundation now. I'll give you jobs. I'll give you training. You don't have to stay in this life forever. And they all did pack up their bags, turn around and leave the lair. And they were like, yeah, you know what? We need a better life. So Batman has given back to the world in a more effective way. He took the henchmen away. And he didn't just teach them a different way to steal. He taught them a proper way to make a living. So... I don't know, man. All I can see is that this is basically a case of Catwoman wanting to prove that she can use her feline stealing powers to solve world hunger, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Well, definitely there should be some solutions for bad comics, and this is a bad comic. This type of speech, this type of whatever um, is not what you turn to a Batman comic for. You, you're looking for action and adventure, not lecturing of uh, Batman Bruce Wayne as he's the problem and this is a new era of Gotham and you've been crime fighting all wrong this whole time. There should be a different type of moral compass being <laughs> exercised, I guess, or roadmap to uh, good guy versus bad guy. Uh, anyways, guys, if you guys will, could please go check out Shane Davis's Extend Level Up. This is our creator-owned uh, crowdfunded site. You can back it here or back on Indiegogo. This is a book about three video gamers that venture to a whole new video game world. And when they log out, they actually um, bring forth the video game into the real world. They're actually able to activate as their avatars, all their power base. A lot of adventure happens. I'll leave you guys with the smash hit trailer for this awesome up and coming independent comic. Get out here, check it out. We could definitely use you guys on board. I dream. I dream of a world carefully crafted, beautifully flawed. This is Accent. In this game of life, there is one thing that determines a victor. A player's ability to grow. A player's ability to evolve. A player's ability to survive. My name is Dog. Choose to play. Choose to upgrade. Choose to level up. Choose to accept.